We spent £250 on modifications to make these £1,000 cars faster. Go bro! Are you trying to make me crash? No! no. What do we do that? No. But first, to see how far we've come, we need to set a benchmark lap. Whoever gets the fastest in their benchmark lap gets a special lunch. 69 horsepower, let's go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> now, I was quicker at Snetterton than those guys, so I should stand quite a good chance. Oh. I'm quietly confident, but the thing is, it's all about how much faster you can make your car. It's the mod. But today we're at Rockingham, thanks to Cinch. It's a bit of a smaller track, the configuration that we're on today. You can tell how fast he's going by where the mud flaps are. <laughs> <There they go>. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a lot of understeer in the KA. Need to figure out how to fix that. What a laugh, there we go. So we did a 105.46 first and then a 104.7. Okay. The problem is Scott does know how to set up a car and make it go faster and what things to change and what not to change. And... Next up was Callum and he was giving himself some words of encouragement. Do not do a bin it, Callum. Do not spin. Do not crash. Last time he was in that car, he crashed twice. Yeah. Last time he was here, he spun at that corner, at the first corner. Mm -hmm. So how are those yeah. two things going to combine? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Oh, the clutch! How much grip's it got? Bit of understeer. Bad news! Oh. He's made it past the first corner. But there's plenty more. Oh, I can smell some clutch. And some car. The tyres are 16 years old in this thing. It means I have no grip. Oh my word, the understeer. I wonder how that compared to Scott's. It's probably slower even though my car is faster. Here he comes. 104.4. I don't think that was too bad. There's definitely some things I can fix in that. Now to modify it. That doesn't sound healthy. Doesn't look healthy, doesn't sound healthy. And the car's dreadful as well. <laughs> Scott and I drove a supercar on this track the other day, so we know it well. Whereas Will has never driven it, so we had no idea how well he was going to do. Oh! Here we go! The Anusol 420 hits turn one. So I'm going up here. Where are we going? Oh, he's got lost. He's got lost. <laughs> oh, I kind of remember this. Oh, no, I've missed the track! I've missed the... Okay, but now I know. Here he goes, flat out into turn one. Go, Will! That's late. Right, remember the track, remember the track, remember the track. Will's driving technique is stamp on the brakes, turn it turn in. Turn it in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have to say, I feel like I'm flying. Yeah, he's gone quicker than you. He's gone quicker than you as well. Yeah, I could feel the tyres doing stuff. What is going on? Look at the G-forces I'm pulling. 103.63. What? No! How has he done this? 103. How have you done that? This is 103. 103? What a win! Hang on. Show me the route you've been doing. And then w down here, which way do you go? Straight through the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'm straight across here. Yeah. And then right here. Sorry, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you... I, I've gone faster. <laughs> How have you done this? Hang on a minute. I've come last on a track test. Yeah. <laughs> I beat you! Yes! <laughs> Hand over your racing licence. Right, to so the garages to modify. Let's go. So let me show you my mods. The first issue I have in my car is that the steering wheel is too big. There's no room for your left leg. So what I've done is I've actually got the wheel that Caterham gave me to use on my sim. Caterham? I've heard that word before. Do you, are you racing a Caterham this year? I am. You're racing a Caterham? And I have a spare wheel. So that is my first mod, but it was actually quite an expensive one. So I've had to buy a boss and an adapter. That was actually 120, 130 pounds, just for that mod. Zero performance gain. Yeah. Oh, I'll be much better. And then I bought these track tires, Gitty track tires off Facebook Marketplace. The ad said they've got a couple of track days left in them. They are quite well worn. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. We know that the KA is an unusual shape, right? Some people say it's like a bubble, but what's like a bubble? A teardrop. And what are teardrops famous for? Crying. Sadness being aerodynamic. Oh. So I'm just going to take this basically, two element wing, 
high quality from Amazon and just basically <laughs> bolt it something like that, that on the front barn of the door car. Spec. I'll do it like this. Like a time attack car. Yeah. <laughs> if you're worried about the power, it's not really the power that's the worry, it's the power to weight ratio, right? We've got 250 quid, I've spent all that on wings, so I'm going to take a load of weight out of the car. I've looked at your car, there's not much to come out. There's not a lot to come out, but you're right, there's not a lot to come out. <laughs> First off, brake pads. Didn't have much budget to spend on these, so I didn't get great ones, but they're better than no brake pad, which I have right now. And then, what I spent all my budget on is this. That is the wing from a Subaru Impreza, which is a fast car, as we already know. This was from Facebook Marketplace, and I did spend quite a lot of money on it. It was, give or take, £200. <laughs> Come and have a look at it on, and prepare to be amazed at the accidental, perfect fitment of that. That is actually quite good. How has he done that? We have one hour to do these mods. Go. Go. I need to go, I've got lots to do. Right. Right, I need to be speedy because I need to go to a tyre shop in a minute and get all these tyres fitted. Oi! Oh, you... <laughs> oh, you absolute tool. Lads, here's one second of time gained. One second, really. One second. Another whole second. 102. I don't like working on cars. I'll just use double tape, double-sided tape. You're mental. Double sided. When has double sided tape ever failed? Name three big incidents. Exactly. Meanwhile, in the KA, Scott had found the power tools. What are you doing? <laughs> He's taking the interior out with an angle grinder. What? Three seconds. There's nothing in this car. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? How much is that worth? Then in the MG, I made a small mistake. Oh, this is boring. This is so boring. I don't know how you enjoy doing yeah. this. I may have made a, a big error. You've just your clock spring. What does that do? Um, what doesn't it do? Hang on, hang on, what has he done? That is a clock spring. Okay. Which is all wound up. That's essentially the wiring and stuff. What will break now? I don't know. While Callum figured that out, it was time for me to mount my Subaru wing. I'll do. I'll just stand like this for ages. <laughs> what? what are you doing to that car? I am over the moon with that wing. It may look like I'm rushing this, and that's because I am. That looks fast. Look at that. Look how much legroom I've got. Ba, 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 ba. Callum headed off to get his tires fitted and I had a cunning plan to hold Scott back. Scott said he's got a meeting or something. There's one issue with Scott's car that he hasn't mentioned too much. That is that his heaters are always on hot. So it would be, would be a shame if the blowers are on all the time. I might have to get a tool, but if I can crank that all the way to four, and then rip it off on his face and his feet. Yeah, that'll do. Scott returned to his car and made a start on fitting his second wing. My dad runs a company that renovates Formula One cars. I should have it in my blood. I can do it, actually. I did work at a race team for a couple of years. I can build F1 gearboxes, believe it or not. Yes, I can, but I just can't be asked with this. Back in the Astra, I launched one of my secret free mods. Now, when you're braking as you enter the corner, it's called trail brake. So, my best mod, and this is genius, is a driver mod. It's completely free. So I'm listening to this boring guy on YouTube who's telling me how I can turn in like Schumacher. So I'm gonna keep watching this one. And we have a, an article on this. I also had another free mod that would definitely save me seconds on track. While I enjoy a slice of my winner's pizza, I'm just having a look online to see which fuse it is I need to take out to get rid of the traction control, because this doesn't have a traction off button, so I need that gone. I think that is going to save me a bit of time. So I'll just mull it over with my pizza. All I need to do now is to decide how much angle I want. That looks pretty good, actually. So I might leave it like that. That's probably OK. With just a few minutes to spare, I returned with my epic new track tyres. Oh, yes, new boots on. I am ready to go. I am ready also. I've already proved that I'm the quickest, but 
Just like the rally video, I think we should go and get a proper action shot on one of the corners. Over a curve. Whatever you or... want. Okay, let's go. Unfortunately, the Astra had other ideas. What's wrong? Uh, it's not starting. Well, I'll be f Despite the fact I really didn't want to, we did everything we could to get that Astra started, but it really wasn't looking good for Will's chances. Fortunately, we did have an alternative. But what we do have is that crappy electric scooter that I raced across oh. London in. So I'm gonna be on, what, minus five minutes? I don't know. With that massive disappointment behind me, Scott and I lined up to watch Callum's first effort. We've basically designed this challenge to try to make Callum crash. Hopefully he just rolls away. Yeah, it would be nice to it would be nice to see him upside down in that gravel. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. Are you ready? Oh dear. This could be where I roll this car. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Ah, uh, rubbish. What was that? I've done worse than that on the street. Application of speed is needed. Yeah, I told you. Whatever you were thinking, plus fifty percent. Tell you what, though, this steering wheel is excellent. It's rare that I've been impressed by Callum. It'd just be a shame if we lost the GoPro. Okay, that feels more committed. He's going faster. Oh! 10% <laughs> more. Are you trying to make me crash? No. no. What do we do that? No. We know you can do better. I'm suspicious of you two. The only problem is, Will, we are, how quickly do you think you can get? I might do a trial run, actually. That's not bad. Safe. My destiny is to be killed by Callum and an MG, so be it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> then it was Scott's turn in the time attack KA, and he quickly discovered my little mod to his heating. One of these bloody idiots has nicked the knob off my heater, so in about 30 seconds, I'm going to be dripping with sweat in here. Scott then discovered a minor flaw in his spoiler placement. I can't see where I'm going. Okay, he's going in for a bit of a test run. Oh, that was rubbish. Scott's first go was tame, so he cranked it up a bit for the next two. Right, here he comes. Turning in on Less the brake. speed. Less speed. Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh, more speed. More speed. Bit of a Scandinavian. Oh, go bro! <laughs> that was a good one. I almost killed the GoPro. <laughs> that GoPro was stood there like, ah! <laughs> Let's go, Scooter! Let's go! Move, man! <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah? You happy? Yeah. Before we went out for our lap, Scott decided he wanted another go at an action shot for the thumbnail, but he sent it a bit hard. Look at this. Now it doesn't count for the challenge, but 10 out of 10 for style points. We put the vote out to you guys, and probably deservedly, you voted Scott's huge slide in first. Somehow though, the definitely an Astra came in second, with Callum's MG in last. With that out of the way, it was time to see whose mods had made the biggest difference. Scott was up first. Okay, here's my first push lap. Can I go flat through turn one? Meow. He starts his lap. It turned out that Scott couldn't go flat through turn one. He had an off. He went off. He's only got one lap. <laughs> no, I've wasted the lap. What's happened to Scott? There are errors creeping into his I game. I know. I think I've got too much time force on the front, not enough on the back. Bad exit, run on the grass. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. Speaking of hot, do you remember last time we came here and I felt burnt my elbows? Yes. Polar Pro, the people of the coat I was wearing, sent me a new one and Scott is also wearing his. Yeah, I've got one as well. You've got one. I'm not wearing it. It's not cold enough for it yet. Okay. Come on, little KA. Please let me see an improvement. Oh, that's a good exit. It's my best exit coming out of the hairpin. Come on. Go, 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 go! I had a bit of a moment. Did you see that? We saw that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you went it. off. I'd say that's a lot of a moment. I didn't spin. I ran wide. Different. Turn one is difficult. 
I spun it. <laughs> All the turn ones. <laughs> I then went out in my MG and used my warm up lap to get some heat in those tyres. Come on, get warm tyres. Oh, he's warming his tyres up. Oh, he's just preparing himself for a big failure. Oh, yes! I can already feel them giving me more grip. Here we go. That was quicker. A bit on the grass. What do you think he's saying? I've got so much heat in the tyres now. It's like I really pushed the car harder. Oh, these tyres, my word, the difference. Come on. One more lap. Is it, what he's saying is, oh, my, my new steering wheel is absolutely lovely. Yeah, look at the Caterham steering wheel. Oh, Thanks to Caterham. It's, great. it's a perfect diameter. This steering wheel is so much better. I've got room for my left leg. I can turn it in quickly. Oh, yes. That was so much quicker. That was a tidy final lap. Come on! Come on! I, that felt good. Maybe I'm reacting too early, but I had more grip through the corners. I was better on the brakes. That corner up there, big lift and without the brakes before. This time, teeny little lift. Because of the Astra's mystery failure, I was completely out of the race. So it was time to find out who won between Callum and Scott. In second place, Somehow, is you. Yeah! <laughs> Got how many times did I do? You did a 1047 yeah. unmodified. Yeah. Modified, you did a 1033. Did I? Yeah. This is the sad part. <laughs> Everybody brace yourselves. Callum did a 1044, and then he did a one minute dead. Point oh! one. Uh, if you want to make your car faster for cheap, buy cheap tyres. Don't try and do aerodynamics. We took these cars rallying last time. You should check out that video down here, and we will catch you in the next one.